Calculate without calculator. 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. Welcome to Math Window. How should we solve this question? The exponent, huge. If we're going to solve this question by multiplying, uh, we know that 2 to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and 2 to the power of 24. Then, I'm going to say, you won't have any time to slip. I have a trick. Look, this exponent is nice, actually, 24. It is an even number. It is 2 times 12. So what can I do about it? 1, it can also be written as 1 squared. It is also a square number. And 2 to the power of 24 as well. So that's a benefit. So of course, this 2 to the power of 24 can be written as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. This 1 can also be written as 1 squared. We can use a formula. Which formula should we use? From now on, I'm going to use the brown pen for the formulas. Which formula? Of course, this formula. a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m all to the power of n. It is also equal to a to the power of n all to the power of m. So then, by using this formula, 2 to the power of 12 times 2, m is 12, n is 2. So it can be written as 2 to the power of 12 all squared, and then minus 1 squared. So now you can see that here appears a squared, here as well. Of course, another formula. Which formula? Of course, a squared minus b squared. It is actually a factorization. It is a multiplication of these two terms. The sum of a and b and the subtraction of a and b. For our next step, a is 2 power of 12, b is 1. So it is 2 to the power of 12 plus 1 and then times 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. Plus 1 minus 1, nothing valuable. We only have to evaluate 2 to the power of 12. I'm going to write here 2 to the power of 10 it is 1024. 2 to the power of 11, it is 2048. 2 to the power of 12, it is 2048 times 2, it is 4096. So that's the result. So we can substitute it for here for a 2 power of 12. So, two power of 12 plus one, it is 496 plus one. And then times 4096 minus one. So then, 4096 plus 1, it is 4097. Here is 4096 minus 1 is 4095. How can we evaluate, how can we calculate the product of 4097 and 4095? That's a question. Ninety-seven, ninety-five. They're close to one hundred, so we can rewrite these two guys. 
we can substitute 4100 minus 3 for 4097 and 4100 minus 5 for 4095 so then we can use another formula which formula this one I don't know if there's enough place so I'm gonna write it here this formula a minus B times a minus C of course it is equal to a times a a squared minus a B minus a C it is minus B plus C times a and then minus B times negative C it is positive BC so the result is only this by using this formula a is 4100 B is 3 C is 5 it is 4100 squared minus B plus C is 3 plus 5 it is 8 then times 4,100 and then plus B times C it is 3 times 5 is 15 so then evaluate the difficulty is this guy squared however we know that 41 all squared what is it? it is 40 squared then plus 2 times 40 and then plus 1 note that 41 squared is 1,681 so then 41 squared and then times 100 squared that is 4,100 squared so then it is only equal to 1,681 add 4 zeros here since 100 squared is 10,000 in the end, it is one six eight one zero 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 minus eight times four one zero zero. That is thirty two thousand eight hundred and then plus fifteen. So the answer is one six seven 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 two one five. That's the result. However, stop, stop. This method, I don't like it. I'm gonna write it here, okay? Perfect. I didn't draw it so straightly. Oh, my hand is broken. It doesn't matter. Okay, we have known that 2 to the power of 24 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 all squared and then minus 1. Okay, from now on, I'm going to write this 2 to the power of 12 as 4096. So here is 4096 all squared and then minus 1. Now I'm going to write this guy this 4096 as 4100 minus 4 and then all squared minus 1 here 4100 minus 4 all squared we can use this formula it is a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a b it is 4,100 squared minus 2AB 8 times 4,100 and then plus 16 16 
is 4 squared, then minus 1. So we can see that, what's this? Plus 16 minus 1 is plus 15. So they are identical. They are actually the same thing. However, 4 steps, 8 steps. So then you can get the same method, oh sorry, the same answer. 1, 6, 7, 7, 7, 2, 1, 5. Do you get it? Don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more videos. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.